You did propose that, but also what was different in 2020 is that violent people had just ransacked the Capitol trying to stop the process. And after that, you still voted to object. Um, so I guess that's why my question is, what will you do in 2024? It sounds like you are not committing at this point to accept the election results in 2024. All right, so let me answer both of those questions. Number one, you are right. There were individuals who engaged in acts of violence on January 6th. And in my view, anyone who engages in an act of violence, anyone who assaults a police officer should be prosecuted and should go to jail. And that includes whether you're a January 6th protester or whether you're an Antifa protester or whether you're an anti-Semitic protester on a college campus. All of them should be prosecuted and go to jail. Now, on the other hand, those who engage in peaceful free speech should not be persecuted. And I think the Biden administration has used January 6th as an excuse to target and persecute many people who were in Washington that day who did not engage in acts of violence. But I'll tell you, on January 6th, after those acts of violence occur, I and, and, and a number of other senators, we, we resolved, we said, we're not going to let their acts of violence change our responsibility to follow the Constitution and uphold the law, which is why when I put out my statement saying I was going to object and I was going to object so we could have an emergency 10-day audit, appoint an election commission and examine the results, examine the evidence of voter fraud, 10 days would have been done before January 20th, so it would yeah. not have delayed the inauguration on January 20th. And 11 senators joined together in that joint statement. I think that by far yeah. would have been the best outcome. As for 2024, if the election mm -hmm. is, is fair, absolutely, I will accept the results, of course. The reason it's a ridiculous gotcha is we have literally at every state legal systems in place to challenge the results yeah. of an election if there's fraud, if there's illegal conduct. And so That's true. you would be an idiot to say, well, if, if there's illegal conduct, we shouldn't challenge it. We should just let it go. We have election contests all the time in elections from president to Senate to House member to, to dog yeah. catcher. And, and so the media game of swear on a stack of Bibles, you accept the results no matter what, is kind of silly because nobody would do that if there's illegality, you should want the law followed.